Take two. Take two. The full channel. Three four seven coming out of Running Media on the second day. This is a special eviction video. Um, and I'm now back in I'm now back in uh, my own place after you know flying through storms for the last it seems like twenty four hours, you know, wet, winds, you know, we can believe what's going on here. This place still survives, so just you know, on the same week, right, where I've been getting coincidences, you know there's times in your life when you get coincidences and you know there's something going on but you can't put your finger on it, you know that it's trying to be told something because there's too many coincidences. Well, you know, I'm in the throw of, like, many, myself, and th there's too many, in fact. And so the same week as I decided to come off um, Cherry Bomb, the legal high, which I've now been off for three days, and onto the hash now, um, hey, um, the same week, right, in the same week, so, clear for three days, what happens? Everything happens. proceedings going on, court, court, court hearings and all, all sorts of stuff coming to us, you know, in, in a, well, it feels like a day, right, you know, suddenly once, one day we're not, and then the next day we are, and we're going, wah, you know, running, running scared everywhere, meeting, everybody's a friend all of a sudden, because suddenly we know we're together, we're fighting something we don't like, and, um, well, it's partly, it's true, isn't it, they turned, the police turned up with tasers today after, well, anyway, that's, Beside the point, what I wanted to do, because the other coincidence, and this all a coincidence, the other one is, you know, there's a letter been gone in from one of us. This is the beauty of this place, in, in a way, in, in that, because it's an open site, we can all choose to do exactly what we like, there's no limit. So, you know, those who have skills in certain areas put themselves forward, and one of the ones that's come forward now is James has put in a, a letter that's gone to the judge, uh, in the city about the hearing and putting forward a case that uh, actually, you know, upon hearing, because I only heard it, I had, no one was, no, that wasn't delivered to me. I had one delivered yesterday, a notice of, you know, uh, court proceedings coming. Uh, but I haven't had the, and I, I, to tell you the truth, I, I'd rather just be read it. I, I don't want, I, I'm not, this is a contract, right? And what I'm going to end up saying is, well, let's just start with the good news, right? The good news is, from my point of view, if the judge is serious and about his law and what he knows, then the, the quality of the letter that's gone in stands every chance of being heard in some way or other. And I don't know what that means, but it might mean you might could we get some kind of stay of, of you know, execution, because it is an execution coming. And um, it's the quality of the letter is up there, you know, it's with just solicitor talk, but I, what I describe is beyond solicitor talk, it's like into the land of, you know, what you need to be, know when you're facing a judge in the system, um, to at least have a chance of playing in there, in the game, that what I'm going to point out to you is ultimately just a, you know, it's a game, a fraud, if you like, it's, it's, it's corruption at the, at the root, and, uh, you have to understand this before you enter the game with the court system. Otherwise, you're done for. Because it is. It's a fraud. Everything is a fraud. And I'm going to explain it just by this because when someone comes up to you and they hand you a piece of paper, what are they handing you? You're handing you a piece of paper with something on it. And you know, we're so addicted to the idea that a letter and words are important, that we give it great meaning. And what, what has sometimes isn't noticed is that the letter sits in a two-dimensional plane. It's just a few words on a letter. There's a, there's a kind of seeming system to the type of letter that you, you're getting from a court system that's well-educated and knows how to present its seeming justice to those who perhaps don't know how it works. 
on a deeper level. And so we take we take it at a level of importance unique to every individual who believes or not in the system that we're living in. Now, if you knew that um, what you're getting is a letter which sits in a complete fiction, and not only is it a fiction, it can be proven to be a fraud too, proven, um, then you're at an advantage because the judge knows this. He sits in the land of the company man. He's a matrix rep who's making money for the system, making lots of laws up for, you know, people or not, people or not, to follow what most people buy by the law and think that that justice system is the best we've got. And, you know, unfortunately it is it's the best we've got. There's nothing but it's it to say it's true. It doesn't mean to say it's not a lie and it doesn't mean to say it's not a complete fraud, which it is. If you if you accept the edict in two dimensions, which is what a notice is, or any court hearing piece of paper, or even indeed someone coming up to you with their, you know, empowerment, I've got something for you, it's very important, you must, you must. They are part of the letter, they're kind of coming in as a two dimensional, you know, entity, seemingly, you know, of great importance. They are, they are representing the two dimensions. In other words, they're an acceptance of it. And then your, your hand, now what do you do? Do you take it or not? It's up to you. If you think it's important, then you've accepted that it's important, you should be handed and read it. You don't have to though. Because it's two dimensions. It's the land of two dimensions. Including the energy, which seemingly might be real, that comes with it. This piece of paper is more important than the person. The person is trying to tell you how important the letter is and that a whole system backs itself up by that because it's kind of run by extremely well-educated people who know a thing or two about how we got and arrived at the system we have. And they know because they've been trained in a language which most people aren't familiar with. The name of the word for the language which most people aren't filmed is actually occult. Occult is not, I keep saying this, evil. It's just hidden. You choose or not to enter the world of the hidden at your peril because if you accept the, accept the letter and end up in court, even if you're going to fight something, it's, you know, you've entered into a contract whereby you've been asked to do something and you do it. You haven't asked anyone. You haven't told anyone what you're doing or trying to do. You've you've contracted into the the problem as it seemed from the system that comes at you instead. Which is Well if you're not up on it, a mistake. Huge, massive mistake. Luckily uh running me <coughs> we were still free to say and what we what we like and think. There's no one come to me with any you know, shut your mouth or um, believe me, I, I, you're kind of expecting it sometime because there's there's only two ways really they can get rid of anyone who knows more than more than they should do, and one is that you know you're gotten rid of, extinguished, and the other is neutralised, and um, you know I'm sitting on a hill, so they're going to have to try and neutralise. Now they don't want to declare them themselves to me. Yeah. Well, you want to kind of get away, get away with declare, declaration. Um, they want to get away with declaration for as long as they can. They'll get more annoyed, you know, and push different entities in front of me that, um, will, you know, seemingly try to persuade me into something that they can handle. Well, you know, I haven't said I wouldn't. And there is a kind of way, but they haven't started to listen to that yet. I might get to explain it, because that's the only way I'm going to stop, is that I get the chance to explain it and I know I'm being hurt. That hasn't happened yet. It's not happened for three years. I know where that is. Um, so what I'm, all I'm saying is, one dimension, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're, um, 
an acceptance of something that comes to you as in two dimensions, then you're in, without knowing the greatest secrets of it, you're in a one-dimensional trap. One dimension is a trap. Because you've accepted the, the two-dimensional version of authority and the shadows that come along with it as being all of all and empowering. And they seem like that in reality too. But you've accepted it in acceptance, you're accepting the contract. Um, you were born in, as a three-dimensional being. Now there's a case for uh, us maybe understanding that three even three dimensions doesn't give you reality. You know, if you think of nature, it's, it's, I, I believe it's, it's in fourth dimension. If you think of nature, nature is fourth dimensional. We have nature around us, so I don't, you know, make, uh, nothing actually matters until the fourth dimension matters, you know, mass. And we were born as three, in three dimensions. Body. You could give it four, but you have to understand three first. And then you have to understand that if you don't get the idea that you're free, right from the beginning, and living in a three-dimensional space which is a higher dimension than two, which has everything that's written on the flat surface, if you give it a power, then it lives. This is my life now. I hit and right on, right the button, right in the middle of the button. I just listen to the. I just listen to um. Got this. <laughs> oh my God! This is like heaven. Music. I just listened to the the end by Jim Morrison. I just hear in a storm. I'll listen to that. For 13, I'm just going to go on and annoy you more. So, to sum up, um, eviction proceedings, hearings, all sorts of things happening. There's also other stuff coming on the back of, you know, maybe there's a possibility of someone putting money in so that we could actually buy the land here. Hey, this is like, you know, uh, that's another conversation, right? another conversation. 1305, it suits me. Have a day, have a night, stay warm. <laughs>